and welcome to my channel. I am Andrea and this is Beyond the Pink Door. So I'm filming this in December 2020 so hence the sequined reindeer in the background. So if you're watching this as any other time of the year <laughs> that's why he's here. So today I am going to make the Maven Pattern Somerset Tea. So this will be one of my favourite 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 tops. So this one here. Uh, first of all, I adore the packaging. It's almost like a book. I love it. It's got a number on the end of it and all the patterns have a number. It's got like super duper a book of instructions. So there's some great hints and tips in this just for like working with jersey and stitches and yeah, all about sewing with knit fabrics stretch guide, construction techniques, like it's just, it's more than just the instructions on how to make the top. So I cut out my top a couple of days ago and if you want to see how I cut it out, it was on Vlogmas day 12. I will put a link up here. Um, I hadn't really planned to do a sew along for it so um, you'll be able to see me cutting it out anyway. Now what I do is I make the uh, which version? I make the version with the plain sleeve and I generally make it out of pieces of jersey that I have left over from the shop. So the piece of jersey determines the length of the sleeve and personally I like a three-quarter length sleeve anyway so um, that's what I have. I do the neckband different to the pattern so if you want to go by the pattern work away I'm just going to show you the way that I do it. I'm going to do it all on my sewing machine and I'm also going to use my overlocker. Now you don't have to use your overlocker. I also have a cover stitch machine but I'm going to do the neckband part in with a zigzag just for beginners who just have a sewing machine because you can do so much with just your sewing machine. You don't need an overlocker, a cover stitch machine. I've been sewing for 40 years and I know <laughs> and I only bought a cover stitch machine this year and I love it I probably don't use it as much as I could possibly use it but um, yeah I use it a lot because I've been sewing a lot of jerseys lately and sweatshirting and if you want to see how I made this toaster sweater I'll put a link up here as well so I'm going to get on with it I've it all cut out I'm making it out of this lovely jersey fabric and again there was just a piece of this left over in the shop so looking forward to this this is really pretty I have a stretch needle in my sewing machine I've had a stretch needle there for quite a while because that's all I've done is sewn stretch it's probably time for me to replace it and I have set my machine to a zigzag so I'm using a zigzag rather than the stretch stitch and I will show you the setting that I've put it at for length and width. So my sewing machine is set at number five for a zigzag and this is the length of the stitch so I normally sew a straight stitch seam with a three so I've set it to three and my width is 1.5 so the length is double the width and that actually works really well. So here we have the back and front pieces so they've got this self-facing and what I do is I pin these shoulder seams together and these little facing seams together and the same on the other side and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to back stitch and I'm going to sew here I'm going to pivot and I'm going to sew along here right so I'm here at the ironing board and this is my seam see that there and I have it positioned so that this is the back, this is the front and I'm ironing this seam just as far as the pivot point and I'll do the same on the other side while I'm at it and now where this point is folding this back keeping everything in line and I'm going to put a pin through it just through the ironing board 
I'm going to do the same on the other side. There. And I'm going to iron the facing I'm doing it more or less by eye. You could use a hem gauge to measure along and just manipulate it so that it's lying flat. And pop some pins in along. Now you are going to have to strain, stretch the facing to fit. But it will lie nice and flat. And then do that, do the same for the back. I think it's best if you start in the centre, turn it down, put in a pin, Just kind of roll it over and then stretch it out. And I'm just going to give that a little run with the top of the iron. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a zigzag stitch to hold all that in place. So I'm going to have my needle go over the edge of the fabric and then into the fabric. So right close on the edge. And I'm going to start in the middle of the back piece. So I'm starting in the middle of the back. There we go. So we'll give that a run with the iron. It seems to have all nice, all stayed nice and flat. So I'm really pleased with how the neck has turned out. It's all really nice and flat. And the next thing now to do is to put in the sleeves. So I'm laying out my top so that the armhole is in front of me here. There's a notch on the pattern piece to show you where the top of the sleeve meets the sleeve, the shoulder seam. There's also other notches along. I haven't actually marked them because I find this sleeve goes in without matching everything up. So once I have the center top of the sleeve matched into the shoulder seam, everything else just falls into place. So I'm going to pin it along. There's no easing, it just goes, fits in really nicely. And this is the basis for most sleeves, for t-shirts, tops, and sweatshirting. And I'm pinning the sleeve to the top as opposed to the other way around. And that's the way I'm going to sew as well. So I'm going to pin the two sleeves in and sew them with a one centimeter seam allowance. And then I am going to overlock them into place as well.
So I've just pressed the seams and I've pressed the sleeve seam in the direction of the sleeve. And now I'm preparing to sew the underarm and side seam. So I'm pinning these two seams together and then I'm going to carry the pins down and sew the side seam and the under the sleeve seam I guess you call it. So I don't generally use a lot of pins they're maybe five, six inches apart. And again, it'll all just fall into place. And we're going to sew again with our one centimeter seam allowance. And then I'm going to overlock the seams. And then we just have the hem and we have the cuff hem, that's all. And then we have a top. It really is the fastest top to make. So we practically have a finished top at this stage and now it's just down to ironing up and sewing a hem on the end of it and a cuff hem. So I'm going to go over to my ironing board and what I like to do is to Thread the top up through the ironing board like that and I'm going to press that over there and the seam allowance for the hem is two and a half centimeters so I'm going to iron up a two and a half centimeter hem all around Then I'm going to use my little sleeve ironing board to do the same on the end of the sleeve. And I'm going to use the same zigzag stitch to sew the hem and the cuffs in the same manner as the neckline. So I'm going to use my free arm to do the cuff so I just have to keep sewing around in a circle. And I'm starting at the seam. 
I'm not doing a back stitch when I do this because I'm just going to sew over the last or the first centimeter when I get to the end. And I'm going to start at the side seam for the bottom hem. Now that's the top all done. And I'm just going to give the hems a quick press. And what I like to do is to put a tag on the front hem. It's simply to make it easier to actually put the top on because I actually find it very difficult to take it out of the wardrobe and figure out which is the front and which is the back and I prefer to put a tag on the front rather than on the back of the neck. So I have some of my favourite tags here. Mm, I actually like this one. I think the colours actually sit in nicely on it. So I'm going to put it here just along the top of where I've actually done the zigzag hem. Oh god, that was, I picked up the worst pin. So I'm just going to put it there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my thread to white and I'm actually going to zigzag around the edges of it. I know sometimes they look lovely to just sew on each side, but I don't like that they'll just dangle away from the edge like that. So I'm just going to do that now. So it's on and it's just so cute. I love the way the neckline sits, so it just goes cross, sits really nice and flat. I like the length of these sleeves. So again, the fabric determined the length of the sleeves. And this is it in full length and I have my little tag here so I'd know that I'm putting it on right. So yeah that's how the size 12 fits my body measurements so yeah really pleased with that. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and I hope you might make some of your own. Um, I'm definitely not finished at this one I will definitely be making more in fact I have still have another one cut out and thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye!